Good morning. There was a reading the other day, one of the gospel stories, and as I said, the gospel stories are such a great way to know what's in God's mind, not just in the mind of Jesus, where Jesus goes to visit his friends in Bethany, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And they are such good friends of his. And he can actually spend time with their kick off his shoes, sit around the table, sit around the fire, and spend time talking to them in ways that he can't let down his guard or he can't relax, rather, with others. They had no expectations of him. They're just good friends. And the story goes like this. And I want you to listen carefully. I know you've heard it. I know you know it. Jesus goes to Bethany. He knocks on the door, and Martha opens the door. She seems a bit harried, right? She's got an apron on. There's flour smudge on her face. She's got her hands wiping a towel. And she invites him in with a big hug. Come on in, Jesus. I'm still making some of the preparations for the meal. Come on in. Take your shoes off. Take your jacket off. Just sit down. Relax. Mary will get you something to drink. And, and Lazarus will be here for, in a minute. He's out in the fields. So Jesus goes into his favorite spot in their house. And he sits down, settles in, kicks his shoes off, has hung up his wrap, his, his coat. And Lazarus comes in and he gets, um, he gets a drink for both of them. And Mary comes and sits at his feet and says, tell us what's been going on in your life. We are so interested. And slowly the conversation turns from his day-to-day -day experiences with humanity as he walks around Nazareth and Galilee and Bethany talking about the God he loves to stories about what God is really like. Mary says, tell me more about what God is like. And Martha's busy in the kitchen, and there's that sense of hominess, and, and Jesus continues to share, and time gets on, and Martha starts banging pots and pans instead of just making those lovely, cozy, homey sounds. <laughs> and she starts to to say from the kitchen, Jesus, could you ask Mary to help me? She's not seeming to get the message on her own. And so Jesus looks at Mary, at Martha and just smiles. He knows what's in Martha's heart. He knows what Martha's doing. She's this amazing cook and this wonderful woman of hospitality. And Mary is just enthralled at his feet, listening to the stories, not just of his life and travels in the neighboring counties, but also about God, who God is, what makes God tick, and how Jesus has this amazing insider view of who God is. Finally, Martha humps and, and puffs and comes into the room and says, Mary, come on, help me in the kitchen. And Lazarus is just looking between Mary and Martha and Jesus and Mary and Martha, and he's got a smile on his face too. Can you see yourself there in the room? Can you see yourself there perhaps seated on one of the cushions, your back against the wall? Or maybe you're seated at the table and you're listening to Jesus unfold the stories of what God's love is like. You've never heard anybody talk about God like Jesus does. You look at Martha, you're torn, you should help. After all, you're a guest as well. And then Jesus says something to Martha that just sticks with us through the ages, right? This has been said thousands of years ago, and yet it rings true. Martha, Martha, you're busy about many things, but Mary has chosen the better part. Only one thing is necessary. Jesus never really spells out what the one thing is. We assume the one thing is sitting there at Jesus' feet, listening to Jesus talk about the God that he loves. But what is the one thing? What is the one thing for you? What is the one thing that you put off through your busyness, through your doing important things, right? Yes, but you put off the one thing that's related to God. What is that one thing? Don't put it off too much longer. 
We only have the promise of today. What is the one thing? The one thing that you need to hear from God, from the divine. And how can you hear if you are busy about many things? Put your pots down and sit there at the feet of Jesus today and talk about the one thing.